Hello everybody and welcome. Yes, it's me, HJP Designs, and I am back with another video for you today. Now today we're actually looking at a figure set I managed to get hold of um, in B&M's. Now it's a Witch's Familiar. This one has been out for a while, but I haven't been able to get to the shops to see if they got it in and I managed to get it the other day. Now, I know I said the other day that my video would go up on Wednesday, but I couldn't actually... I couldn't get to filming it, so I put it up today, Friday. Yeah, so um, on with the video. Now, I've got this. This is the Witch's Familiar Collection Collector sorry, figure set, and it is the 12th Doctor and Davros from the classic series of Doctor Who. Um, so we all know what the Witch's Familiar is. Um... It was a episode of one of Peter Capaldi's ones. I'm trying to think, was it Kalara's last series? I don't think it was. Or was it? No, I don't think it was actually. No, I know. But it also had Missy in it. Uh, Missy was in it. And uh, Davros and Daleks and all sorts. And uh, the Davros, it says here, uh, where does it say? The Davros first appeared in Remembrance of the Daleks in 1988. Hey, that's not right. I think it could have been that certain. It's what it says there. Special weapon dial. Yeah, I see what it means. Yeah. So uh, that's what. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. I don't really said much yet. Yeah. So you get 12th Doctor and Davros. Now, I was looking at because I actually have. Well, we have a, a figure collection. This is what it looks like. If you can still get to the shops, B&M's. B&M's is wonderful. Wonderful B&M's. I do love B&M's. Um, have a look in the... Because I went down the kids' aisles to look at the toys and stuff. You know, as you do, you just look at down all the aisles. I've popped down. And I just happened to have seen it. Because I saw the other ones, which I've already got the... Uh, fourth Doctor Companion one, the unit ones, all of those. They still had those in. And then they had this one on the next shelf up. And surprise, my <laughs> absolute surprise, it was on sale for £8. Which is quite good because normally they are on sale. F oh, not on sale. They're normally about 20 quid. So I thought, you know, while it's cheap, £8, uh, I'll get it because I don't know when the next time I'll be able to go in there is, you know. So, yeah, so this is what you get. It says it's limited edition, but they still had quite a lot on the shelves. Um, so you get, you get uh, Peter Capaldi and Davros. Now, we actually have another Davros. I think it was the first Davros they brought out. For the modern Doctors. I think it must have been one of David Tennant. Yeah, David Tennant's one. And I looked at it. And the Davros is a little bit different to this one. I think it's something to do with his, his screen on here. Which we'll have a look at in a minute. Well, that's what you get. So, if you want one of these. Head over to B&M's whilst stocks last. And whilst... They're still at eight pound. Go and get them because it's quite a reasonable price for a figure set. Because I've had figure sets at twenty pound, fifteen pounds. You know, they always used to be about fifteen pounds. So yeah, let's have a look at the figures. So here is the twelve doctors. You can see the shadow. So here is the twelfth doctor. Um, there's not really nothing special about him. 
Remember then his clothes are different to normal. Um, he's got like tartan trousers on as you can see. Boots are different. You know, he's different clothes. Not really, um, but there he, there he is. Detail on these figures are extraordinary as I say all the time. The hair. I like with Peter pa Peter Capaldi. Is he started off so... How can I put it? You can see him change over the series. He start, He had such short hair. And then the time it finished. His hair just went woof. And you could tell he was like this crazy old man in a box. And it's funny because... I think he's the only person in Doctor Who that has actually done that. Only Doctor, I mean. When you look at the other ones, like they do like four, three or four series, you don't really see... I mean, they have different costumes. Like David Tennant always had brown suit, blue suit, brown long jacket. You know, he always had different clothes. Matt Smith, again, he had different clothes. And so did Peter Capaldi and Jodie Whittaker. But the only one to me that seemed to have changed, like got older with the series is him. Because he had such short hair. And then as it got, you know, as the series went on, his hair got kind of longer and he kind of got a bit more. The only way I could describe it is Doc from Back to the Future. That's the way his hair went. And I think that's good because it kind of shows you like, look, the Doctor is getting older. And I think with... Jodie Whittaker, you can kind of tell that with Jodie Whittaker, but um, um, with her hair, because her hair started off nice and, well, kind of short sort of thing, and then it kind of got straighter, and now it's gone back, I think it's a little bit longer, or, you know, her hair is like in a different style, like, it'd either be flat or, like, it'd be a bit, I don't know what the word is, I'm not a hairdresser, so... Uh, you know, but I I like Capaldi because he kind of went from a short haired person to this mad person in a box. So yeah, I think he out of the modern doctors, even though I liked David Tennant, um, I did like David Tennant. I think he was a good doctor. I really do think Peter Capaldi was a very good doctor. Um, I do hope when they get round to doing the sixty, if he comes back. They could do, like, bring a doctor back and bring a companion back that goes with the doctor. You know, I'd like to see that, actually, again. Because I did that in the classic series. I'd like to see that. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so that is Doctor. Uh, the only problem... What the hell's happened to his foot? His foot sticking out. Okay. So I've just noticed his foot. I don't know if it's meant to do that. His, hmm. There you go. I've just spotted a problem. I don't know if you spotted it. But his foot is bending downwards. And I did have another problem. When I took him out of his box, his head came off. His head is, I mean, it's eight quid. But his head is not very screwed on properly. But I've just noticed he's got, a, his foot's a bit dodgy. Doesn't matter though, I'm not going to complain. I'll just. I have no idea why that's like that. I really don't know. Try and bend it a bit. A little better. Yeah. Anyway, um. Here we have Davros. I'll pick him up here. This is Davros. Now he's like one of the Dalek toys, got wheels and stuff. What I meant when I said he's a little bit different to the other Davros is the control panel. I'm sure is different on the other Davros toy we have. It looks more there's more buttons or it's more space out. But that's Davros, look. That's the back of him. I don't think I've done Davros on here. Oh, I hate that noise. I don't think I've done a Davros on here before. No, I don't think I have. I've done some Tarans. 
And I've done Cybermen. Hmm. Yeah. And I've done Daleks. But that's Davros. He's a... It's a pity that couldn't open. Maybe that would be a bit too gruesome. You could have opened that and seen his inside his chest. But, yeah, I think that's quite good. I think it's reasonably good for... Eight pound, even if his foot is a bit dodgy and his head does come off. But I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. I think it's quite good, you know. So if you do want one of these toys, I would recommend going into B and M's. Um, B and M's, if there's a B and M's near you, I don't know. And having a look at the toy section for these, I am still trying to find the Zygon one. So that's got Fourth Doctor, one of the unit soldier, and Leftbridge Stewart. And that is the one I'm trying to look for because they brought more out last year towards the end of well, towards the end of last year. And so there are like um Fourth Doctor and Companion set uh two and it was the same figures, different clothes. Um, yeah, so there was there were some other ones as well. There was this one. But uh, it's, you know, I can't wait for them to bring out more of the new ones, you know. I like how... I like how the figures are now starting to slowly come back again. Because they never did. They didn't... For a while, you couldn't. You could only order them offline or in Toys R Us, which we don't have anymore. Um, because I think there was a time where I I didn't get any for a while. I didn't get many figures. I mean, at the start of it, you go yes, you go absolutely mad, and then we slowly, you slowly, you don't stop, but you slowly get them. And then of course I did the mystery boxes, and I got figures with those. And then ever since. You know, Jodie Whittaker and that. The toys are slowly coming back. Which I think is good because it gives a, a chance for any new Doctor Who fans to collect them as well. So, yeah. So, uh, that is all I've got to show you today, actually. So, um, stay tuned because next week... I'm sure it's next week it comes out. I will be showing you the new... Doctor Who game. I think it's called The Lonely Assassin. It's for the mobile and I think it comes out on the 17th. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. I think it's the 17th. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Now, we have had Doctor Who games before. We've had... What have we had? We've had... Um, Doctor Who Legacy. The other one they made, I can't think what that one's called at the minute. Where the balls, you move the balls into three things. There's that one. There's those two mobile games. And then this is a third mobile game. I could be wrong, third one for your phone. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. I hope it's better than the other ones. I really do. Even though I have to admit, yes, I do miss playing Legacy. That's the wrong word. But you know what I mean. You'll find the game that I, I'm on about. You'll find it in the videos on my channel. So to stay tuned for next week's video. All you've got to do is subscribe, like and comment. And I will see you next week. Uh, I'm not sure what day it will be. It'll probably be Friday again. Because um, I'm not sure when the game comes out. So yeah. Or... Whenever the game comes out, I'll probably see you on the day it comes out or something. I don't know. So, thank you very much for watching. And can I just say thank you very much to those new subscribers who have subscribed. Hello and welcome. And I will see you all next week with another video. Bye.